Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. And here's Sharon at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue with this week's Save a Pet. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, my name is Sharon. I'm here at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue. And I have this wonderful dog here. His name is Cooper. He's a Kapahula, and he's 10 years old. He's available for adoption. So please come down and see us. We're at 780 East Mance Road, open from 10 till 3 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. The phone number is 775-727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. KPVM-TV held a memorial service for our beloved Doug Brendel, who passed away from a brain tumor. We want to thank the pastor from Shadow Mountain Community Church, Lonnie Biggs, who said a prayer for our former news anchor, TV host, sports reporter, and master control person. Doug passed away a few weeks ago at the age of 53. And Doug was a huge part of our lives. The people that were old school, I know you newer guys are kind of like, because ah, this is going back. It's real old school. Tom, you know, it's Tom days type of thing, even before that. So he did affect everybody he came in contact with you. If you knew Doug, you never forgot Doug, uh, no matter what happened. And so, you know, I hope that he made his peace with God. You know, we spent a lot of time hanging out, and uh, you know, one night I'm hanging out in here doing a voiceover or something, and there's this big bang on the door, and he comes in. Oh yeah, either didn't you know did or didn't believe, and it's changed through the years. When he first came to the station, and Marcus was here, and I was an ex Jehovah's Witness, we had some pretty interesting conversations. Um, Doug will be deeply missed. Of course, you saw, speaking there, uh, our former Marcus Rose, you saw Selwyn Harris, and of course, uh, Tom Slaughter there, and Rhonda Van Winkle speaking too. Lots of Pahrump residents head up to Beatty for their annual Beatty Days, which was held this past weekend. Well, lots of Pahrump residents headed up to Beatty over the weekend, which celebrated from Friday until Sunday up there in their park. They kicked off music with Hot Rod DeVille in the upper park on Friday afternoon, they had lots of antique cars and antique gas engines, a bike show. They had Baby Days Junior and Senior Princess crowning, too, as well, and music by Maria Anderson and her Southern Night Band, Halloween Costume Contest, Halloween Carved Pumpkin Contest, Tricycle Races, and 1900s Historical Reenactments. Nothing beats the Beatty Bash Open Horseshoe Tournament as well. Lots of food and craft vendors all weekend long. A parade on Saturday morning. They had a model railroad exhibition and a sanctioned chili cook-off by the International Chili Society. Beatty also had a trunk or treat in their car show area for the kids to enjoy. The Sun Country Cloggers from here in Pahrump also joined the fun. Lots of food, fun, and vendors up there at Beatty Days, including the Lions Club that supplied a pancake breakfast, pet parades, hot dog eating contests, Dutch oven cook-off judging, closed off the weekends up there in Beatty Days. For more information on next year's Beatty Days, you can go to BeattyNevada.org. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. I want to thank Vern Van Winkle for all that footage there. Here's Angela Miles with today's First Business Brief. 
This is the first business brief for November 1st. I'm Angela Miles. Airline fees are soaring. Airlines raked in a record $42.6 billion in extra fees this year, up nearly 18% from last year. Fee options are everywhere, from baggage to booking to boarding early. A key manufacturing gauge rose sharply in October. The Chicago Purchasing Managers Index jumped to 65.9 in October, up from 55.7 the previous month. Readings above 50 indicate expansion. Manufacturing has been at a standstill since the summer. Economists were surprised the government shutdown did not slow factory orders. And Puerto Rico is in a debt crisis and it's attracting investors. Municipal bond prices have fallen nearly 40 percent. So-called vulture investors are swooping in and buying the bonds at rock bottom prices, betting on a turnaround. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. Thanks so much, Angela. When we come back from this break, we'll have your weather with Noah Began and your announcements. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at NevadaDairyCouncil.org. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today we have sunny skies with a high of 75 degrees and an average temperature of 73 degrees. Winds are coming from the east southeast at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. The UV index today is 4, which is moderate. Humidity is at 20%. Sunrise was at 7.07 this morning, and the record high in 1988 was 87 degrees. Tonight we have clear skies with a low of 42 degrees and an average temperature of 52 degrees. Winds will be coming from the northeast at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 5 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 34%. Sunset will be at 5.48 p.m., and the record low in 1971 was 33 degrees. Tomorrow we have sunny skies with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south southeast at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 21 percent. Sunrise will be at 708 a.m. and the UV index will be 4 which is moderate. For our seven-day forecast, it looks like a mostly sunny week with some clouds on Monday and Friday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the low 60s to the mid 70s, and your low temperatures will be ranging from the mid 30s to the low 50s. Thanks so much, Noah. The U.S. Department of Energy has announced the dates for two public meetings on the Consolidated Edison Uranium Solidification Project shipment of uranium to the Nevada National Security Site and disposal plans. A hearing is scheduled from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. November 14th at the Nevada Treasure RV Resort. That's located on the north side of town off of Leslie Street. The Nevada DMV is now accepting applications for individuals to receive approved translator status with that agency. You can apply online at dmvnv.forward slash translator. That's dmvnv, like Nevada, dot forward slash translator. And tonight is that comedy show at the Prompt Nugget. The doors open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 7. The event is to benefit the Path of Hope Food Bank. And the Prompt Valley Museum is holding its 10th anniversary event tomorrow, beginning at 10 a.m. They're located off Basin, east of Blagg Road. And as you set your clocks to fall back one hour this weekend, remember to take a few minutes to also change the batteries in your smoke detectors in your home. Standard time begins at 2 a.m. on Sunday, November 3rd, and it's a good time before you go to bed on Saturday night to also change your batteries in your detectors. That way you can make it a habit twice a year to change these important batteries so that your detectors can remain operational. Smoke detectors have proven to reduce fire fatalities by 50% nationally. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46 from everyone up here on the hill, including our weatherman Noah Began and, of course, Max Burlake over there, our technical director. That's going to do it. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Good night.